Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to play another game of League of Legends. I'm the Strategy Professor. I'm also streaming this. This is a high platinum, low diamond ranked game. Uh, this is at the very end of Season 6 too, so the season's going to reset tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, you know, it's probably going to have changed because I have a few backlogged Nautilus videos, but... I think the playstyle will be very similar. Dude, you've got to flash. Did he already flash? Oh, God. The level 2 cheese. Why do they do this? Like, I don't understand why they make the jungler so absurdly powerful in this patch. Okay, Nami got it, though. Hi. Is that my juice? Yeah, you forgot your juice. I see. Gotta drink your juice! That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Twitch either in lane. I don't like Twitch or Vayne. I mean, I'm going to be happy when they get nerfed, because once again, he's just so, like, polarizing. Like, he's either really good or he's just total garbage. And most of the time, it's the latter. Twitch is a little bit better than Vayne in lane, because at least he can, like, go invisible in, like, one second and run away from a lot of things. That's going to be painful. Oh my god, is this, like, freaking real? I mean, it makes sense why she would come back. Can I go up there and fight her? Okay, yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Gold Carter, Gold Carter. Okay, good. That was a good juke on her part. It's hard to juke an anchor in the uh, in the archway there because it's so fat. It takes up almost the entire arch. What's up, bro? You're designing. Uh-huh. Are you screaming? Yeah. See, so that was a pretty good trade, because I got tough there. Turned it on him. I'm not sure about Twitch's changes on the PPE. I think they just, they made his, um, his poison. It's pretty significant, though. Like, it doesn't look like a lot. It's like, oh, they just changed it from, you know, one damage, or from two to one. That's a 50% damage reduction in his passive early on. So we'll see. I mean, a lot of his damages contaminate, though. That's right. And they didn't, uh, they didn't really change that. So I don't know. Jerry's out. I think the extra mana cost on W is not a huge deal. It's not like he spams it for harass. I mean, maybe... He does, but I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Got him. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to get to Kate, so I might as well just go for it. Okay, Twitch is warming up now. Twitch is better than Vayne, I think. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of either one of them, but if it's got to be someone, then I like Twitch a lot more. I feel like he snowballs faster than she does. His invisibility is also very abusable in solo queue. I think he's probably still going to be the best AD carry overall. He's pretty good. I'd say my win rate with Twitch is, is pretty solid. 
Who is my favorite one? I like uh, I like supporting Ezreal and Caitlyn are probably my two favorite. I like Jinx a lot too. But Twitch is Twitch is good. He has his moments. If you can just get through the laning phase, we're getting we're somehow we're bullying them out a lot. Like we shouldn't be bullying them this much. Like Nami is just giving us a free pass. Like she's trying to go for bubbles instead of W harassment. Uh, hey, Ibrahim, I think, uh, yeah, you max the E for several reasons. Number one, it's your primary source of damage. It deals a pretty good chunk of damage. Um, number two, it lowers the cooldown whenever you do it. It also increases the slow, and it's your best, and it's your, um, wave clear. So that's why. I mean, maxing the Q is nice, but usually you're only going to get one of those off anyways. And you can miss that. Like, you can't really miss your E when you're close range. So yeah, that's why you max E first. You should max E, then shield, then Q. On most hook champions, you don't... Well, that's not true. On most hook champions, you do max the hook. Um, ah, dang it. I was trying to walk in front of him. I'm not going to flash for that, though. How, what items? Okay, he's got a BF. What does she have? She's got a BF, too. What happened? Is he just wanting these, or is he wanting to, like, straight up do this? I think we can do it, yeah. I don't, I'm not level 6 yet, but... Nautilus actually does quite a bit of damage in team fights because that wave, if it hits people twice, it does an extra 50% damage. I mean, he's not going to do as much as, like, a Zyra or something, but... That last game where we lost to Zyra, though, like, that's exactly what you want to happen as Zyra. Like, you go against a lane that you can bully really hard, you get a ton of kills, you snowball and finish the game in under 30 minutes. Like, that's how you win it as Zyra. Oh, God, he missed it. It's brutal. How's he looking, CS? 51 to 70. What? We're absolutely crushing this lane. And she's going to be up, like, 30 CS on him. As so I said before, if you're trying to play ADC, and uh, you're not consistently hitting ADCS by 10 minutes, then you really, really need to... Uh... Got him. And you really need to just go practice in uh, just like a bots game or something. Just sit there and just hit CS. Just like uh, in just a custom game. Just sit there and hit CS. He doesn't have his ult. Uh, I'm kind of on the low side. Oh, okay, the TF. I missed that TF is going to be coming in. Nice. I should have exhausted and then flash, probably. Hit it, hit it. Okay, good. He got, a, he got the big one this time. This is good. Okay, does he want more? I'm out. Let me see here. Yeah, not only damage for the, for the CD. Um. I kind of want to roam, but I also kind of want... I kind of want more armor. It's the cat creeping in. I thought that might have been my wife again, trying to be sneaky. Are you being sneaky, Sadie? Are you being sneaky, Sandra? I'll go ahead and hook back to lane here. Let me see what other questions I can get here. She's creeping up behind me now. 
She she likes to take that bait when I'm streaming. If I just leave like the silk sheet sitting there, then she'll uh she'll go over and lay on them. I don't know where Nami is. Is this like a bait or something? Or are we just gonna straight kill her? Yeah, it's a bait. <laughs> yeah, it's a bait. Yeah, I knew that looked a little too easy. Eh. Magician. Yeah, we just threw that though. Pretty well. I mean, that was sneaky on their part. But I should have known. Like, why would she be up there farming by herself when we've been absolutely murdering them in lane? Like, she knows she's going to die 100% if there's not a gank there. So, you need to be able to read between the lines and see that. And I just failed to do that right there. I mean, I even said it. This looks really suspicious. And then I went for it anyways. So, it's like. I know the proper thing there, but can we kill him? Is he going to get out? Use your ult, man. Already open on him with the ult. He must have opened on him. So I waited until she did her um, ultimate, and then I CC'd her with my ult. It doesn't do the damage, obviously, but it stuns her for a second and a half, so. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some mobies. Let me see here. Yeah, I needed to drop my pink somewhere when I was running around. Wait, no, I, I had one. Yeah, after we killed Kale, because that's why she went over there to clear my pink, I think, that was right here. So yeah, I should have dropped the pink, you're right. Is Vi going to make a move on it? No, I don't think she is. Nami's not down here. I might be able to kill her. If I catch her out. Might be able to dive. Nah. So I thought I had my ultimate there. I was like pressing R and that was a total fail. All right, can we get this? No, let's get this. Let's get this. Wow, they actually won that top fight. I thought they were going to die for sure. That Teemo's uh, dropping the hammer up there. Runeblade Teemo. It's brutalizing people. Let's get that. Kale's dead. I do need to put some more wards up. I guess I can go ahead and do that. Bye. 
What is he even against top lane? He's against GP. Just massacre him. Yeah, yeah, let's go over here and get this. These are real, like, diamond high plat players. Like, they know what's going on. IWD grinds my gears. I don't mind. I don't watch a lot of his stream, but he's okay. I mean, he's... He has a nice editor. Wish I made tens of thousands of dollars on streaming so I could have a nice editor. <laughs> uh, I could just learn that stuff myself. I, I feel like that would take a very long time to do that. But I guess editor is probably not even an appropriate phrase for those people. It's like content creator. Because a lot of what makes those streams, in my opinion, is not necessarily the play. It's okay. It's entertaining, but it's it's like the memes and like the jokes and everything that, that the editor puts in there. And the way that they cut it and just make it look... Like, find all the interesting parts and they put up all like the funny like memes and just all the jokes and everything. Like, that's what really makes those streams cool, I think. And that takes a long time and a lot of hard work, I think, if it's just one person doing that. Like, that's got to take, like, three hours, at least, per video, if not more. And I think all of, a lot of the top streamers subcontract that out to other people. Like, they, I don't think a lot of them do their own uh, editing. I think they just play the content, and then they just pass it over to someone. They're like, hey, man, I'll pay you, you know, 30000 a year to edit these videos for me. And someone's like, sweet, sure. Maybe not even that much. I don't know what the going rate for something like that is, but... The same person probably does it for a bunch of different streamers, I would think, or like a similar group of people. Kale's splitting? I don't... I think... I don't know if we can outpush that, though. I mean, she's gonna get a level 2. We might, If we get a base tower out of it, it's probably worth... Yeah, we can probably come over here and get this base tower. If we get an inhibitor, it's probably worth. But that's a that's a that's an industry. Uh, I don't know. We need to get out of here. Let's try to put the slow down. Walk him through these shrooms. I don't really don't think high school's that bad, Spick, so I don't know. I liked my high school experience. I know it's kind of weird. I think, if anything, most people wouldn't like their middle school experience. That's when stuff starts getting real weird. My middle school was kind of rocky to begin with, but I actually did like my middle school, too. I don't know. I just like school, though. That's why I've stayed in it forever. <laughs> why I never leave. She's gonna murder me. I gotta get out of here. Oh, and I'm probably dead. At least I got her flash for it, I suppose. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, Vega. <laughs> hey, Paul. Yeah, a lot of people hate middle school. I don't mind middle school that much. Um, like I said, mine was pretty... Uh, it was pretty rocky. I mean, there was a lot of... It was like a... Um, I lived in kind of like a lower middle class part of town, but my other schools were, I don't know. It was decent, but middle school, they brought in, I don't know. It was just a very odd time. Middle school is already kind of an odd time for a lot of people because there's just lots of hormones and lots just weird, awkward social things. People are starting to figure out what it means to be cool and stuff like that in middle school, I think. 
Um, so that's already awkward enough. But then in my middle school, you had like a bunch of really wealthy kids and you had a bunch of like really poor kids. Like the zoning was just ridiculous. And so there was a lot of like cultural tension. And there are a lot of fights just all the time. But I stayed on most people's good side because I'm just pretty chill in general and not a huge like egomaniac or anything. I was kind of an odd middle school. I mean, everyone's kind of weird middle school. Can I get him? Oh, the miss. <laughs> and she almost got him. Oh, GP was there too? Oh, God. Oh, God. I say, okay, if he dodges that, he's okay. People get so mad about taking waves and stuff, too. Eh. An ally has been slain. <laughs> hey, Support Raptor, I actually do have a video just about that. Raptor asks if I have a video that's about word placement and ZZ. I do. It's called the Mastering the Map video. So check that out, because I talk a lot about ZZ placement in there, and warding, and roaming. Just anything that helps you win the macro game. So I missed the hook. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Did we get that inhibitor finally? I think we did get the inhibitor shot. I kind of need to focus up. We're sort of starting to let them getting lazy and just letting them slip back in here. <clears throat> let me see here. Yeah, just check out the Mastering the Map video. It's about all that stuff. Roaming, warding, ZZ rock placement. Is anything that's outside of laning and team fighting, where you try to win the game. I also talk a lot about ZZ placement in my patch 6.22 video. Um, I think it's around 12 minutes and 30 seconds. I have it in the description. Uh, it says ZZ Rock Portal. So just go to the ZZ Rock Portal with the 6.22, and I spend about 10 minutes. I break out the map. I show you different places, and I talk about why you would want to put it. Um, in different places and different situations. Do you hear them Let me see here. Yeah, no problem, Support Raptor. I think that, I mean, I think a lot of my videos are gold, but that Mastering the Map one in particular is really sweet. The itemization and the Mastering the Map, I think, are the most important ones. Because a lot of, uh, I've never seen another person ever talk about that stuff. These are just things I have to learn. And I mean, the announcers talk about rotations, and streamers know how to rotate, um, but and they know how to ward, but they just don't ever explain it that well. I don't think. Oh, hi. <laughs> See, Kate's down there trying to clear the ZZ and mess around, and we get their base because she's down there. Oh, the fake. She's too fast. So, she, she was down there messing with the ZZ Rot portal. Not only did we get Baron, but we're probably going to get their base. We just killed three people off of it. So, ZZ Rot indirectly did all those things, right? Like, it doesn't look like it did, but it did. Because Kate wasn't there. That's why we're dominating so hard. Oh, God. Yeah, so ZZ basically just won the game right there. Hey, Michael. Uh, you'd be surprised how little they change most of the items that I talk about on there. I mean, yeah, they might change Redemption and Locket, but learning how to calculate the relative value of those things 
is still really useful, I think, even if they do change, which, I mean, they're going to nerf Redemption, but it's not really the numbers, it's how to understand the numbers. It's like the reasoning behind the numbers. So when I talk about why Redemption is so valuable, you know, you can understand, and all you have to do is just look at what I talk about in the video and just plug in different numbers. If they change the numbers on it, you can get your own calculation for it. So I think it's really useful even if... Um, even if they change the items. Because a lot of the video is also talking about how resistances work so people understand like how much damage armor actually blocks, how much damage magic resist actually blocks, how much each stat is worth gold-wise. They haven't changed that in years. So a lot of the base items like cloth armor, um, ruby crystal, stuff like that has been the same for quite a while, I think. Um, so the relative gold value of those is going to be the same. And So the very beginning of it is a good um, introduction to that. So, yeah, I think there's still going to be a lot of useful stuff with the itemization, even if they change some of it around. Um, yeah, a good place for ZZ is just behind a tower a lot of times. Like right there, you saw that I pushed it, placed it up in the lane so that it would add a bit more pressure to that tower and to bait someone into going to clear it so that we could get Baron. But if you're not actively trying to bait someone, if you're just trying to put it in a, a, a safe position, then you would just put it behind a tower somewhere in a really annoying lane. Uh, let me see here. Hey, thanks, Honey Bun. I appreciate it. I try to be, uh, I try to be the professor on the block, right? I try to break it down and just really explain things and help people play better games. Um, Hey Paul, sorry I didn't see your comment right away. I think, um, oh let me go ahead and end the Nautilus uh, VOD really quick, I forgot I had that going. Okay, so thank you very much for Nautilus VOD people, um, tune in for the stream sometime if you like. I stream every day, uh, Monday to Friday, starting around uh, 8 o'clock. Sometimes not, it's like between 8 and 9, it depends on what else I have going on. Um, and then usually it's midnight or a little bit past midnight, and you can always catch all of my past VODs as well on the channel. So. Um, tune into that. You can watch all the past streams. You can watch individual VODs for your favorite champions. Um, lots of great content out there. And some of the guide videos that I just talked about. I have an itemization video and a um, mastering the map video and a how to um, uh, just how to carry support in general. Just lots of good stuff. So check it out and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful evening.